Well, you got your new laser all out of the box and all set up and turned on. You got your laptop or your computer connected. Now what? I remember one of the most uh, tedious things I can remember is getting this unit set up and for the very first time I'm going, man, I hope I don't mess this up or damage any equipment. We're going to cover just a few things today on a couple of simple things that you can keep in mind to make sure that you keep the machine safe and you're well on your way to doing all kinds of cool things with your laser. Stand by. Okay, so you've got your machine fired up. You've connected your laptop or your desktop to your laser. One of the first things you got to make sure you do is come over here to your devices and make sure your controller is selected and say OK. And if everything's talking appropriately, you'll have to go through the initial setup. I'm not going to cover that in this video. But you'll always want to make sure that you have a laser ready over here. Otherwise, no matter what you do in Lightburn, when you send it over to the laser, nothing's going to happen. So make sure that you check this anytime you're uh, working in Lightburn, that you're actually connected to the laser. Okay, uh, what I've done is I've created a simple rectangle here. This just illustrates my little piece of wood that I'm going to draw a circle on. I always highly recommend that you always build a frame. Uh, this just gives you a reference on um, when you go to frame where you're going to uh, engrave this circle, uh, you can line it up. You'll see what I mean here in just a minute. So always just build yourself a frame on the size of the piece of wood that you're going to uh, uh, put down on your laser bed. It's pretty important. You'll also notice that I'm not going to output it, meaning that it's not going to go to the laser to be uh, cut out or engraved. So it's just an indicator. It's just a marker to show this is my piece of wood that I'm going to go ahead and put a circle on. Great. Okay. Now, once you've got that done, you notice that I've created a separate layer for this circle, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and engrave that. The output is on. I'm just going to just draw the, the line of the circle. We're going to keep it simple, right? But one of the first things that you're going to want to learn, and this is kind of the, the meat and potatoes of this video, is there's some three different options down here on start from. This is basically how your laser is going to function. And when I started working on my diode laser before I got the CO2 laser, uh, this confused the heck out of me initially. I came from the CNC world, and this works a little bit differently than uh, it does from a CNC perspective. So um, absolute coordinates, which I believe is probably the easiest to understand, but there's some nuances that you've got to understand in order to make sure this works okay. And you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. So I've got it on absolute coordinates. And what that means is that wherever you have your illustration in respect to your bed of your laser is where the laser head is actually going to go and do its work. So in my case, this is a thunder laser. So it's set up in the top left hand corner. Most of them are set up in the top right hand corner. So don't let that fool you. It's just because of the manufacturer of my particular laser. But if I was to uh, draw this circle with the laser, what will happen in absolute coordinates is it'll start from the home position, it'll come down, it'll draw the circle, and when it's done, it'll go back to its home position. This is what's different compared to the other settings that we're going to try. It comes from the home position and it returns back to the home position. And I'll show you how that works. So. With that being said, I know where this circle is going to be on, on the bed of the laser via this illustration, but how do I know where I place that piece of wood actually in the bed of the laser? This is the quickest way to do that, and it's easy if you know what, what this does. There's a little locator bubble right here. Um, if you click on that, and then you come up here and you click on the corner of this piece of uh, wood, it will actually take your laser head to that location. Then once that laser head stops, then you can go ahead and place your piece of wood underneath the red dot underneath your laser head. Okay, now that I've got the actual laser 
located to this part of my bed. I've taken my piece of wood and put the this corner right up in the corner here. Um, I've turned on the frame. That's just representing your piece of wood. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say frame it here. And what that'll do is that'll just make sure that I've got that piece of wood um, square. So now that I've got my piece of wood lined up in my absolute coordinates, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the rectangle off because we don't want to actually burn this. We just want to uh, illustrate a circle in the middle here. And so what we'll do is we'll send this to the laser and make our first cut. Okay, we've made our very first cut. We're happy everything worked. Things are going well. One thing about when you have it set on absolute coordinates is that the minute I pick up this uh, piece of wood, I'm going to lose my reference, meaning that if I pick up this piece of wood and I look at it, man, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I've lost where it needs to go back where I can continue to cut another circle. So that's the tricky part about absolute coordinates, if you've got little things like this that you're trying to put back and work constantly, it can be part of a, it can be a little bit more laborious to do that. Um, that's why you can make jigs, uh, we can use uh, user origin and we'll, we'll kind of get into that next. But um, just remember that with absolute coordinates, it's always going to come from your homing position, out, do your work, and then go back. Okay? Um, and with that, uh, the thing that I struggled with when I started is, okay, now I've got a circle, I want to do another one, and I had to go through that whole process of locating uh, where my work was on the computer screen in relation to where it was going to actually end up on the laser bed. The only time I really use absolute coordinates is if I have a large piece of wood that I'm going to fit in there and I really don't have to worry too much about uh, where my work is in relation to the laser bed. If I put a full sheet in here and I've got a bunch of different things going, I really don't have to worry about uh, you know what's going to happen. That's where the user origin comes in. I use user origin a lot because it's, a, it's something that's given and you'll see here in just a minute how that works. So again, absolute coordinates. Um... It has its place for sure, but one of my favorites is user origin. Let's come over here and change this to user origin. Okay. Now, what's different about user origin is you notice now that that green dot, that's uh, currently where the origin is going to be set. You have a box over here. You can make it in the upper left-hand corner. Just depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, depends on where you want your origin. Okay, so what happened is I, I drove, I took my laser pointer and I brought it right over here. Okay, so it's currently sitting um, right in this corner. Um, if I wanted to save this spot right here, I would go to my control panel on my laser. I would hit user origin and it's going to save this spot. Okay. And so uh, now what will happen is instead of coming from over here down to do the work, it will actually home right here. This is the new user origin, and it will come from here, do its work, and come back. Um, and so this is a known setup. And uh, you'll see here in the video, I've just put a little uh, quick jig together. Let's say that you were doing something that's repetitive. You were doing uh, cell phone cases or something that, that was the same size and you just had to take this one out, put another one in, uh, and it was uh, quick repetitive work. This would be a great way to, to set that up.
Okay. You can also go center. It just depends on what what uh, you know what kind of work you're doing. Let's say that you had this rectangle, and you wanted to make sure that you got this circle right in the middle of this rectangle. Well, you could draw a line between these two and line the pointer up, the laser pointer right there, and it would and it would start from there. It would come, cut this circle, and go back here. So this is important to play with this and understand how this functions. We're going to go ahead and put it to the top left hand corner. The other thing that uh, I'll show you is, and it's a new feature in Lightburn, which is kind of handy, is I've got my user origin set up right here. And let's say that this is something that I'm going to set up and do repeatedly uh, from time to time. And because of the nature of the work, uh, it fits in on the bed just right, right where it's at. Uh, and you want to save this origin to use later. I can come up here and I can manage... I can add new, and let's say this is a widget, and it's this is the current position of the laser head right now, and if I say OK, now I've got that uh, saved. So later down the road, if I wanted to uh, lay my jig down like I've got it and bring the uh, laser head to that particular spot, I just come in here and uh, select this, and wherever the head is, it'll move to this location, and away I go. Let's take a look at current position. Current position is kind of handy, too. One thing that's a little deceiving about current position is regardless of where your drawing is on your canvas here, doesn't mean that it's going to come over here and it's going to, uh, the laser head is going to come down here and cut out what you want. Basically what it is, is wherever that laser head sits, it's going to come from wherever it's sitting down to do its work. So if, in actuality, if your laser head was over here, uh, it's actually just going to come down, cut a circle here, and go back regardless of how it's illustrated on your canvas. So it's going to start wherever the uh, laser head currently sits. Um, MW Laser has a great uh, YouTube video on both absolute user origin and current position. I'll put a link in at the end of this video on that, uh, on that YouTube video. It's great. It's just a little different than this one. Um, but user origin and current position are probably my favorite. Um, I use both of those quite often. And if you get used to using those and understanding how your origins are affected by the selections that you make down here, uh, you will get real used to kind of what you need to do and how you need to do it. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a great day. Until next time.